Welcome in. Pepper Sami. Shalom. Boing. Bienvenidos. Wow, welcome to the Beer Odyssey. And my mission is to spread my knowledge I got off of craft beer to all of you around the world. Are you ready? Are you ready for a heady? Over here, I've been on a quest to find the best beer in America. Sometimes going to great lengths to try them. Each state has their own staple brewery, and believe me, I want to try them all. This is the Beer Odyssey. What are you drinking? We're taking another one off the shelf, and today, it's zombie dust. I hope you're ready. The greatest thing about the Beer Odyssey is that it takes out the need to experiment and promotes the need to experience. You need to experience quality beer. This is pure quality. You want class in a glass? This is it. <sighs> wow. Um, this is actually my first time trying this, and I gotta say, it is outstanding. Um, uh, big thanks to my buddy Tom out in Indiana for shipping this out to me. Um, this is really, really, really good. I mean, it has a nice bite. The flavor is just phenomenal. And, uh, once again, this is Three Floyds Beer Zombie Dust. Um, you know, I mean, I can't get it out here, so luckily I got some good people that'll, uh, that'll work a trade for me. Illegal. All right, guys, it's time to check in with my good buddy, Gary. Welcome in. And see where he lands on Three Floyds Zombie Dust. Cheers. What's up, guys? What's up? Today, I'm, I'm going to do this zombie dust review, and let me tell you, this is like nothing I've ever had. I was so shocked when I got this beer in my hands from our buddy Tom out, you know, in, in, uh, Indiana. in Indiana when, he sh when he, we, we did the trade with him, and it was, <laughs> it was just great. I've been wanting to get my hands on this, this for the longest time, and when I finally did, it was worth the hype, and Three Floyds really went over the top of this, this beer. And it's an ale. It's a, it's a, it's just their pale ale. It's not even their IPA. It's not their Dreadnought or Arctic Tanger Wolf. It's, it's their Zombie Dust, which is really hugely popular out there, and it's really hard to get. And um, the reason being, you know, when I when I first smell it, it's just the floral, and, and then it goes down so smooth down my throat. It, it, it's just a refreshing beer. I can easily drink six of these, and you know, and, and you know, no problem, but. I would hate to do that because I have to save them because I can't get it over here. It's just really good beer. I mean, I just taste everything. It's just smooth. Got the nice aromas, you know, a little florally, but it's just a really good beer. I mean, I know you really like the zombie dust. You know, I'll tell you, the zombie dust is right on par with, like, uh, Gandhi Bot. I mean, it's it's really the... Uh, its own equivalent. I mean, they're they're really yeah. they're really standing there on the same pedestal, honestly. And I, I love it. It was really like you know going crazy to get this beer. You know, now you take a look at this. You got Heady Topper on the East Coast, mm. uh, Zombie Dust in the Midwest, and Plenty of the Elder on the West Coast. And it's like every part of the state has their own really top notch beer, and this is theirs. And I can't say enough about it. it. It's just smooth to drink. It's easy to drink, and I would highly recommend it. It's definitely on my top beer list. Three Floyds, Zombie Dust, Pale Ale. Let's give it a taste and try it out. Mm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, yeah. What can I say? That, you know. Check it out, guys. Yeah, it's definitely, you get it? It's definitely one for the books. Um, and, you know, like always, yeah, their distribution, real quick, is real limited to, um, you know, Illinois, in the end, the Chicago area, but also they're in Kentucky, uh, you know, recently, and it's really close to where I am. Maybe, you know, I can, you know, take a trip out there and grab it, but anyway. Link for the email below. <laughs> yeah. So, Until next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.